Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of PHP front to back. In this video, we're going to get into loop. Okay, so loops are part of virtually every programming language, and what they do is they execute a, uh, um, a block of code a set number of times, okay, based on some kind of condition. So let's go ahead and in our PHP sandbox folder, we'll create a new file, and let's call this loops.php. And we'll throw in our PHP tags. Okay, so this is going to be on loops. And like I said, we'll say execute code set number of times. Okay, and sometimes you know what that set number is, sometimes you don't. Um, now there's four different types of loops. So we have a for loop, we have a while loop a do while loop and a for each loop. So we're going to start off with a for loop. Now a for loop is usually used if you know the number of times it's going to be executed. Uh, and it has uh, a couple params, so let's say at params and it takes in an initializer uh, and then the second param is a condition Okay, which could be anything really, and then an increment. Okay, so let's do four. Okay, so the initializer, which we're just gonna pretty much just create a variable, um, usually called i, that's the common practice, and we'll set that to zero initially, and then each parameter is separated by a semicolon. All right, so next is the condition, so we'll say as long as i is less than 10. Okay, that's our condition. And then the increment, we're going to do i plus plus, which is going to increment it by one. Okay, so after every time it goes around, zero is going to increment by one up to 10, and then it'll stop because this will be true. Okay, uh, it'll, it'll process whatever we put in here, anything at all, until this is true. So uh, what we'll do is just, just echo out i. So if we save that and we go to localhost slash php sandbox slash loops dot php. Okay, and it gives us zero through nine. And if we want to, we can add a line break here and put each number on its own line. Now, notice that it only goes up to nine. That's because once this is true, it stops. And we're saying if it's less than 10. If it went 10, if it went to 10, that's not going to work because this is less than 10. If we wanted to, though, we could say less than or equal to 10. And then if we reload, it'll it'll include the 10. OK, uh, and we can do whatever we want in here. Let's say we wanted to add the text number space and then we'll concatenate it like that and reload and we get number zero to number 10. And we can also start this wherever we want. Let's say if we started at 5, then it's going to do 5 through 10. OK, so that's a basic for loop. The next kind of loop we have is a while loop. OK, and then as far as params, parameters, it's, it just takes a condition. That's it. OK, setting the variable and all that happens outside of the loop. So let's do. Uh, i equals zero. Notice that we're doing it outside of the loop. Uh, and then we're going to have while. And then that takes a condition. So we'll say as long as i is less than 10. Okay, so same condition. And I'm actually going to comment this out up here because I don't want that to run. All right, so um, while i is less than 10, let's go ahead and just echo out i. And then we'll echo a line break, whoops. Okay, and then we want to increment while we're in here, so I++. Plus plus. And then if we save that and reload, you can see it does the same thing, okay? So a while loop is, is usually used over a for loop if you don't know uh, the set number, the set um, condition, all right? Now, there's also a do while loop, which isn't used as much. I, I really never use do while loops, but just to show you, uh, 
uh, let's just say do while. And as far as params, the while in the do while takes a condition. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set um, we'll set the i variable, and then we're going to say do, which doesn't take which doesn't take parentheses. And in here is what we want it to do. Now, the main difference between this is that with a do while loop, it's always going to run at least once, okay, um, no matter what. So let's say ec echo i, and let's also echo a line break. Okay, and then we're going to do our increment inside of the do. So i plus plus, and then down here we'll have the while with the condition. So we'll say while i is less than 10. Okay, so notice the while doesn't have the curly braces. All the action happens within do. Okay, we just put the condition in while down here. So let me comment this stuff out. And we'll go ahead and run this. And again, we get 0 through 9. Okay, so that's a do while loop. Now the last type of loop we're going to look at is a for each. And for each is different because it's meant to work with arrays, okay? So let's create an array called people, just like we did in the last video, and we'll set it to array, and let's say Brad, Jose, and William. So we want to be able to just loop through this array and then access the values. So for that, we'll say for each. Actually, let me put my little comments up here. Okay, so for each loop. For arrays. Okay, so we want to say for each, and then we're going to pass in the name of the array, which in this case is people, and then we want to do as, and then a variable that we want to use for each one. So usually you would do whatever the singular uh, form of this. Okay, so plural, singular. For each people, each one is, is a person. So down here, let's just echo person. And then we'll also echo a line break. So let's try that. And you can see it just prints out each name. And you can do whatever you want with this variable through each iteration. So that's a, a simple indexed array. Let's try it with a, an associative array. So I'm going to copy that and then comment it out. And then let's say we have um, a name as the key and then an email address as the value. So we'll do that and then Jose. And William. Okay, so now we have an associative array. Now what we want to do is say for each people as person, and then we want to put this equal sign greater than. So this is basically going to be the key, and then this will be the value. So we'll say email. And you can use whatever variables you want, but this is the format when you're looping through an associative array. So let's say we want to echo out person, and then we'll just concatenate, we'll put a colon in there, and then concatenate on the email. Save that, reload, and we get the name, which is the key, and then the email, which is the value. All right, so that's gonna do it for loops. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at conditionals and look at some, some of the operators in PHP.